Hey everyone, just going to do a quick walkthrough video. I had a lot of comments in the other video that I posted. It's kind of going viral, I guess, uh, you know, four or five thousand views every day and lots of questions coming up. And the number one question that keeps coming up is, how did you get your screens networked with your main theater screen? So right now nothing's playing, which is why it's just some family video clips that I have running. And everything basically comes on when I say turn the game room on or I say turn the turn the movie theater on. Um, power switches turn on and all smart switches and um, Windows I've got on auto login. And right now it's running uh, uh, Picture Perfect, I think it's called, just a, just a video scrolling app. And I've got it installed, of course, as you can see in portrait mode. So when a movie plays... Basically, I've got it uh, running front view network with the NVIDIA Shield, the IP address and the ports that are uh, on the NVIDIA Shield uh, Kodi application specifically. Uh, so you feed that information into front view plus and um, basically when I hit play, you'll see that the screen will change here and it'll display the movie poster of what's playing along with the runtime as well. But when nothing is playing, I just for kind of ambiance, I had some portrait mode videos that look kind of cool, you know, along with some family videos shot off of a 360 uh, degree view VR camera. And uh, it turned out pretty, pretty nice. So I usually just have that playing. But um, the PC itself, I mean, you can use any old PC that you've got. I've had a really old PC laying around as a it was a very small form factor PC. You don't need anything uh, fancy at all. And that one, that PC is powering that screen. Um, I've got I've got this old device here, which is a uh, Ethernet based VGA extender. I didn't end up having to to use this. Um, I ended up just using a another old PC I had laying around. So. The other PC that's powering what's in the theater room is uh, this guy here. Apologies for the crassness of the wiring and all. I haven't done a good job cleaning it up, but basically this PC is outputting to two monitors. And let me go into the theater room now. This is just uh, just on the other side of that wall. So, in the theater room itself, there's th those screens. And right now, nothing's playing, which is why it's just scrolling through. So, this first screen, I've got uh, pulling really high-quality um, posters off of the internet. I believe it's, it's moviedatabase.org that it pulls it from. The app itself is called Movie Poster App, and uh, it's Windows 10 based, and that's what I have running here. And it basically pulls and refreshes. People have asked for in the comments is which skin I'm using in Kodi. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty neat. So I'll put a link in the description, or at least in the description of the video once I upload it, in terms of which skin I ended up using. I don't remember offhand. Um, but let me demonstrate in real time when I hit play what ends up happening so play now as you can see so just give it a second the inputs changing okay there now that the movies playing uh, I wanted a whole bat cave kind of look so I don't want any distractions so the, the display almost looks like it's off but just at the bottom it, it pulls up the movie poster you know, the audio formats and r actual real-time runtime. And again, this is front view that's coming up as an overlay on top of the poster app, um, uh, which was a movie poster app that's running behind this, uh, this screen at the moment. This other screen, I'm just leaving on for now, but uh, nine times out of ten, it's turned off when we're watching a movie because I don't want any light or any distraction from the side. So I also do... 
turn off all the lights. I don't know if I just mentioned it a few minutes ago, but uh, yeah, I like I like all of this to not be seen when we're watching a movie or any serious movie. The only time the lights are ever on are if we're watching a TV show, maybe or uh, or, or or a game. The other big change from the video I uploaded it in February, I believe, I ended up uh, upgrading my seats. These are much more comfortable than the uh, brown suede ones I had, and they also look a lot nicer. I always wanted red seats and uh, finally pulled the plug. The other one served us well for about 12, 13 years. Um, by the way, the rest of the equipment sits back here. I don't know how dark this is going to turn out, but uh, it's all there. Uh, I'll, do a, I'll do a secondary, more detailed walkthrough of the theater and the whole setup here. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, do ask, and I'll try and uh, reply as best as I can. If there's any further questions on the uh, apps that are used and how it's all set up, so basically it's just Windows 10 PCs. Uh, this is running, I believe it's called Picture Perfect um, app. It's a free app. And it's just a uh, it's just scrolling through through gifs and that PC is outputting to both of these monitors and uh, It's networked with the Nvidia shield Which is what's playing what's kind of what my media player that's playing on the big screen now And it's specifically Cody that you need to set up under remote con allow remote control and uh, you know you need your IP and your and your port number uh, to be able to set up front view so that you can do this so there's a little bit of configuration with windows you know auto log on uh, you know you can google to do that and uh it's just a matter of setup you know you set it up one time so you know with being windows 10 and i have solid state drives in these things uh, i never manually turn anything on i just say turn everything off and it turns off uh you know via just a smart switch and then the same way uh, I, I turn it on as well let me hit stop for a second. So when I hit stop, yeah, as you can see, behind front view, the movie poster app continued to run. And again, nothing needs to be babysat. This movie th movie poster app will will keep pulling uh, the latest uh, movie posters, or you can leave it. Uh, you can have it download your favorite movies movie posters as well to mix in. So kind of have both going on uh, uh, myself because I've got some movies that uh, that I'm very fond of that I'd I'd like seeing the movie poster come up every so often. Uh, so let me go back to the other screen. So I had some spare screens and you know I thought it was a good way to use them instead of dumping them on uh, on online to to sell them. So you know right now because nothing's playing. This this one is also just displaying some video that I had. Uh, let me hit play again. So I just hit play again, and that's what's happening here. So it's bringing up the, the movie poster and the run times as well. So when my wife comes down, if we're watching something, she can just open this door, take a quick look. Okay, that's what these guys are doing. There's you know X amount of time left. I know it's all a bit extra, but it was it was a lot of fun to do with so just some spare PCs and spare monitors and displays that I had. As you can see, I got a, another display there. Um, and again, it's just a small old PC that we had laying around that uh, ended up using sitting kind of back there out of focus. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, any questions? Again, just link me in the comments. Sorry I made this a little longer than I intended. I tend to babble, but uh, I don't usually, or not usually, I never make videos um, where I'm talking anyway. So I apologize uh, for being a bit crass, but uh, hopefully I'll, I'll continue to make a few more since there's a lot of questions and a lot, a lot of compl good compliments as well from people. And I'd say 99% of the, or 90% of the work I've done myself. Um, and this has been a work in progress for for a few uh, few years anyway. Thanks for watching, guys.